everybody. Uh, about to stream a game uh, between Bastion and Justin Desai. They played just a few hours ago. Um, oh, <laughs> and, uh, I tried to hit OK to start it instead of the play button. Silly. Um, this is uh, Justin Desai's legend. Um, he's, you know, been playing for forever. Um, he, uh, I believe, he went back to um, a build more like his day one, day two build. He had warped it for day three a little bit, um, and in talking about it in the Slack chat after um, the event, he mentioned he kind of like messed up the space in it. He had changed a bunch of the higher destinies to lower ones. It wasn't really effective. He just, he kind of um, on Saturday night made some changes he wasn't happy with. And uh, he mentioned that if he was going to be playing anyone, any sort of like what if scenarios, um, he would be switching back to a more solid build of it rather than the actual one he played on day three. So that's what I'm assuming happened here, um, that, that he has that more solid build um, of his legend. And here, Bastion um, has uh, a Bespin CRV that is uh, predicated around clouds and floating refineries. Um, it's a very interesting deck, um, very creative deck. We don't typically see. Dark Side right now is in a pretty bad spot in terms of being able to beat a lot of the main light side decks like Legend, like Hitco. Um, and then even if they can, a lot of times they kind of have to sell out. They have to do something gimmicky um, in order to beat those, and then they're not good against the field necessarily. Um, you know, a watcher step. We saw Bastion play this dark deck, and uh, he lost to Paul Myers Diplo um, by, I don't remember what it was, somewhere between 12 and 18. Um, Game one, fifth, let's say 15, plus or minus a few differential. Um, game one of his, their round of eight matchup, and uh, which ended up being the difference that, that Paul advanced in that match. And um, so, yeah, it's something more balanced like Diplo. It's not good against, of course, Bastion did get unlucky with that, with that early matchup um, against the deck. He didn't want to face the other seven light side decks in the field were all um, Legend and Hitco, I think. Um, three legend, including his own, um, plus Justin and uh, Fernando. Three legend, uh, four Hitco, and then one um, one Diplo. And so he did get kind of unlucky getting matched up against that Diplo. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean that's what happens when you play a gimmick deck where you you're going okay. I'm not good against something like Diplo. I'm, I'm not good against something like Watch Your Step. Um, I'm, I'm basically selling out so I can try and beat those top light sides because dark is in such a bad spot. Um, Paul says 18. Oh, uh, Paul. Okay, cool. Paul's here. He, he won the first game by 18 with the Diplo. Um, yeah, so, so I, uh, last night loaded up Bastion's deck in, uh, the Jimp Adam, um, Echo Base Trooper had posted all the deck lists, and so I loaded that up in Jimp in the deck builder and looked at it and went, wow, this looks pretty cool. I want to see how it runs. And uh, so I watched the replay. You can see that on Taco Bill's Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash from Basil. He, he casted that with Mike Kessling and um, Brian Mischke. And um, so then I sat down and I watched that replay, and then I messaged uh, Bastion in the main Slack chat and was like, hey, I'd, I'd like to see how this works. Like when it works, do you have any replays of uh, you playing it during a, a play test or practice games, anything like that? So I can I can see it. And he was like, "Well, hang on, uh, I'm hoping I can play Justin with it." Um, and you can see. And uh, so they actually played this game this morning a couple hours ago and posted the replay. And I went, "Sweet, let me." Uh, I haven't watched this yet. Um, I was like, "Let me let me just live stream watching this this game." Um, Paul, uh, Paul asks, should gimmick decks be rewarded? Absolutely. Yes, 100%. Um, I think that's one of the fun part of Star Wars is coming up with clever things. And, um, and especially when you're trying to make meta guesses and you get rewarded if you're right. Um, Bastion, unfortunately, hit that bad matchup. But if 
theoretically Kieran and, and Paul had been matched up and Kieran beat Paul like he did in the next round. Now, they couldn't have been matched up because it was top four versus bottom four. But if you follow what I'm saying, if someone else had knocked out Paul first, Bastion might have just cruised through, through the thing. And he, he mostly nailed what was the meta. He just hit the one deck that was off meta. Um, but if you can make the right call, if you can build the right clever deck, um, I definitely think gimmick decks should should be rewarded. Yeah. Bastion says, Watch Your Step is also a decent matchup. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm, I I clearly, I, I know nothing. I, I, I haven't wrapped my head around this deck um, because when I was posting in the chat about it, in the Slack chat, um, I said I thought Legend would be a, a worse matchup and Hitco easier. And I'm thinking Hitco's easier because you've got strategic reserves and you sit there and you cancel their drain and you retrieve with the um, with the floating refineries when you draw the gas miners. And, and I, I thought... Um, you would just out damage Hitko, and he was actually saying, "No, Hitko's Hitko can be more pl problematic if they just immediately see, oh, hey, you're going clouds. You probably have very little ground, and they just immediately go fast, put a guy to each of their two sites, start doing damage." Um, and then he mentioned a couple changes I had had, like Grimtosh, which would cap his hand size, and um, Nabrin, which would let me get in the security tower and, and mess up the the gas miners hiding in there with Effentmon. Um, so that's that's a problem anytime you're relying on Effentmon, but you don't have a rest order. Nabrin is is a potential problem if you don't have a canceller or something like that. Um, but I would have thought just naturally a deck like Hitco, you're you're building to beat by just out damaging them using Voyeur or um, artillery canceling their trains using image of a dark lord things like that that you would just beat hitco and something like legend that's more balanced that could you know fight you off of the system and take their sight and ping with bb8 and retrieve with rose and that sort of stuff would be easier or, or watch your step um or it would be harder for you or watch your step would be harder for you because they'd go guy to the cantina they'd start putting on that pressure and then they'd go to kessel and they'd go and they could fight you in the clouds obviously uh bastion he does play a couple guns here um but from his list, I only I think I saw one of this one and one of the one that can shoot capitals, the scythe gun. Um, if you get Mianda out and you can pick off stuff in the in the move phase, obviously that's great. But if you don't, you know, if if you've only got the two weapons and they avoid that, I would have thought Step would have been a harder matchup. But but Bastion's saying no, so um, uh, clearly I'm not <laughs> don't quite know what's going on yet. Um, Paul Paul says he has a gimmicky Bespin CRV with Chirinu and Quiggold. I almost played. Yeah, no, I I was also looking at Bespin CRV uh, both the week before. Um, I don't think Saturday night I did, but but the week before day one and between day one and two, um, just because uh, Bespin CRV can <laughs> can have a chance against Hitco. Um, one thing that dissuaded me is um, Gavin has played Bespin CRV a lot and I and I still tended to just beat it with Hitco. Even 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 decks that would sell out to beat Hitco lose to Hitco. Um, it just shows how strong uh, how overpowered even Hitco is. Um, and I didn't want to play a deck that sold out to Hitco and still potentially lose to it and then lose to a lot of the field. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh I think I think it was um, Eric versus Paul actually in the OCS um, top 16 in the round of four that Eric played a um, a space deck versus Paul's Hitco and uh, won the game and narrowly lost the match by one or two or three, whatever it was, um, won the game by 15, but lost the first one by 17 or whatever, Some, somewhere in those numbers. Um, but essentially, yeah, he had played a space deck and he, he beat the Hitco, but Paul also had a build that did not lend itself to... Um, uh, to other uh to being able to beat it like paul had the farm and the um the ewok village so he satisfied coward but he didn't have any spies in the deck so he couldn't go take over the security tower if he had and been able to drain there as well he just would have beat eric um he didn't have you know nabrin uh to move over there he didn't have um uh, I don't think he had Rose or BB-8 for extra extra racing damage, um, anything like that. And so if he had had some of those other cards, he, just, he still would have beat Eric, even even with a good matchup for Eric. So um, it's, it's, it's tough to pick a deck that sells out when it's still just not even get guaranteed to win. Um, so, uh, all right, so let's get into this game. Um, Bastion uses the uh, mob points. To grab the executor, I'm going to speed this up a little. Justin uses um, leadership to grab Kenobi, and uh, and then Desai suspends 
mob points combo. Um, interesting. Bastion didn't ditch it. Um, so I'm not sure it's worth suspending after they don't... I mean, there's probably a reason Bastion has that one. I don't know. Um, I don't know if he has anything. I don't... Hmm. There's no indoor shield or anything. Um, but, but after Bastion played... After Bastion grabbed the Executor, Justin leadership. So Bastion had a chance to ditch this. It's not like Justin pulled Don't Do That Again and then leadershiped. So um, Bastion purposely chose not to ditch this. I don't know why. Um, I don't see the effect in his hand or whatever that he would. But it's, it is interesting that, that Bastion didn't, didn't bother to ditch it after. Um, so Planetary Rings, Pulse, Bespin, Cloud City, and Reactor Terminal, Pulse, Floating Refinery. Uh, and he'll dump another one from hand and another refinery. Uh, and while Justin will strike planning for Leia, very standard setup. Um, these floating refineries are going to let Bastion, when he activates, um, draw some cards into hand. And if he draws a gas miner or cloud sector into hand, he can reveal it to retrieve a force. So um, theoretically, what he will do is use drop to put back. He'll have one gas miner down at the security tower with Effetmon adding to drains, and he'll have a couple more that he'll just put back with drop um once a turn he can do it at the end of his turn and then on on decide's turn and then activate those and then activate one with this reveal it activate one with this reveal it and um and then retrieve two per turn when he does that and then just put them back with drop and keep looping that a nice little uh nice little retrieval mechanism loop um so Bastion just draws a few force. He's got Wookie Kiss to try and bounce stuff if it attacks him, give him a little more time to prepare. An extra drop, force push. Um, Stalker seems good in this deck because if they a lot of your damage is reliant on um, draining at the cloud sectors with the gas miner and menace fades can shut that off if you can't stack Stalker enough to follow and shut off fades, that would be good. Um, and then you know, you follow a stalker shut down fades you drain and then you move the executor can consolidate with it and if they run you follow a stalker again so it's nice having um that power the problem obviously is if they go three parsecs and the executor can't keep up and then they have enough uh firepower to just fight the stalker alone um that could be problematic if legend has a big stack um luckily parsec six and four uh jacku system are only two apart so usually executor can consolidate with it versus something like legend um, oh, and now we see a visual glitch. So Jimp has uh, a little bug you can see down at the um, uh, his force power right now. When floating refineries are on table, it causes some little uh, some glitches with the display of the life force reserve deck force power that sort of stuff. So we'll see that throughout the game. Just ignore that. Um, so um, it, it looks like. Uh, the size turn was just playing a site and drawing some and saving five. He uh, he he started that site. He pulled this site. He just he didn't really do much else. So um, Bastion force pushes for Effentmon just in case there's a Jin in this deck. And he plays the Effentmon and a Gas Miner down. Um, he is under no pressure from uh, from Justin. So that's one thing. He doesn't need to go down with a tie to start draining. He doesn't need to. Um, he doesn't need to do do much right now. He can get his ideal setup. He can get all the cards he needs to answer what is in Justin's deck, and um, and that's going to be a, a big factor. He he can um, potentially even start getting stuff tracked, though he can only activate just over a third of his deck at the moment. Um, but if he can start getting stuff ready to shoot down the Falcon, that would be good. Um, Decide we'll have the one flip turn where no weapons will be allowed. So uh, Bastion draws some in hand with the refineries. Um, notice he does go over 12 a lot in this deck, so Grimtosh is potentially problematic. Um, that might even be a grab he would consider just so that he could keep just drawing into hand and doing everything he needs to do. Um, he plays a droid detector. That's weird. Um... Oh, to stop BB-8. Okay. I was going to say, um, typically I think you'd want it at the security tower in case R2's in the deck. I don't think Desai's latest builds have played R2-V that adds an icon. Um, 
Oh, I guess R2's a spy, so you can't even deploy him with FM on there. So he's he's a non-factor. Okay. Normally, a lot of Bespin CRV builds that don't use FM on, um, especially pre pre errata, they would uh, toss the droid detector onto the security tower so that R2 couldn't deploy there, add an icon, make it a battleground, light draining and stuff. But with Ephemon already stopping R2, he can throw droid detector there, meaning no BB-8 can go over there for pings. Yeah, Charlie points out the same thing. No BB-8 dies if he can't even deploy there now. Um, enter the bureaucrat uh, will be nice if Justin takes, well, he can't, uh, if Justin takes this over and flips and drains three at Bespin, he can't deploy into the bureaucrat there because it only goes on opponent's locations, but he could drop it over here to turn this from a two to a one. Um, Bastion has has a battleground in case he's playing against like a light space deck. You have him four ops or something. He can move out, move out some guys and start getting a free drain. Um, but I imagine most matchups, he does not deploy this docking bay. So uh, Anakin, Poe, Come down on the Falcon to Bespin Cloud City. They're, they feel pretty safe there um, because of that flip side, meaning they're going to have a weapons protection battle. Um, meanwhile, Bastion's going to be setting up the free executor. Uh, but Bastion pulls... Uh, oh, he grabs a scythe tie with the reactor terminal text. Um, and then he draws some into hand with the refineries. And... He is going to have dreaded to be able to cancel that drain for a little bit. That'll, again, keep the pressure off, off of him. Help slow down the game while he gets everything set up. So Piet's going to go on the Executor, which comes down for two for the Professor. And... Ron will also go in there, so just in case uh, profundity and whatever comes down. Um, most of Justin's big threats, though, is right here. Most of his space threats, right? Poe, um, so Holdo's the other big threat, but but it's basically Poe, Holdo, Falcon. Um, and that's because Poe adds a destiny. Holdo has the leadership stuff going, and then the Falcon can spin. So if you are Bastion and you're over here with the Executor, and he's got his spin just like way far away, the Falcon has to move through all those friggin' cloud sectors to get back over to Bespin. Um, so his spin is over there, his Poe is over there. Um, you're feeling somewhat comfortable in space. Once Justin flips, he will be limiting the Executor immunity less than five. So um, there may need to be some other fodder like Mahdi or whatever, but they must never again leave the city lets you take a tie just forfeited from Bespin location into hand. So he can play Colonel Jendon um, and, and can even play it as a react and then forfeit it for six and take it back to hand. So he's just got a recurring six forfeit that costs four force. Um, and that will help with that limited immunity part. The docking bay is actually against Hitco. I will explain later. I don't, I, I just keep being wrong. I love that. This is, this is cool. Um, huh. Okay. Does he play a sniper? Um, I don't know about that. Sniper could be cool, I guess, for the um, to shoot outside of you know the battle phase. But he also does have the meander for that. Um, so uh, Paul mentions wanting to talk about Diplo sometime. That would be fun. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So. Um, Bastion's going to cancel that drain. Um, there's no battle order. Um, Desai, I think, has one shield left because he used Hear Me Baby. Bastion, of course, has a couple left, but opts not to not to pull it at the moment. Um, if he can take over multiple cloud things, if, if Desai does get shield busted and, and Bastion takes over multiple clouds, it, it'll probably help Bastion more than Desai being able to drain free. So... Um, at the moment, he is leaving that. Ooh. So that's a good sort of built-in counter is if you can use Help Me Obi to cancel a smuggler's text, and then you can deploy a spy there and attack him. That's, there's, so we see that happening there. Um, oh, and then he gets Wookie kissed. Brilliant. So, um, and then next turn, Ephemon's text will be back. So that, uh. I doubt Desai is playing two Help Me Obis. So, um, cool. That was a cool move. And then there's a sense. Um, 
which Oh, he peeked at, but did not opt to take into hand. That's an optional may. May peek at the top of X and take one into hand. No, what did I miss? He initiated reactor terminal. He peeked at the top. It showed a sense, but then why didn't it take it to hand? What did I miss there? may peek at the top x and take one into hand he did peek at the top x we saw it was a sense but then it didn't go into his hand and it, it's not in the log is into his hand what did i uh i don't i don't know what i missed there or what i'm not understanding maybe someone in the chat can explain to me why we why he used reactor terminal we clearly saw a sense but it didn't make him take to hand to the way i read this is you may peek but then once you do, you have to take one into hand. So I don't know why that sense did not go into hand. That was a mistake. You have to peek at the full X to be able to take a card into hand. I forgot that I just spent a three and only had one left. Okay, so Bastion has three devices on table. He only had one in hand. It's, it's like the rescue in the clouds. If you play it when you've got less than three in reserve deck, if you've got one or two, it'll peek at them, and then the action stops, it fails, and you don't get to take one to hand. Here, he could peek at the top three, so it started peeking at the top three. It, it showed only one, the sense, and then it went, oop, we didn't peek at three, stop. So it didn't let him take to hand. Okay, that, that is the explanation. Thank you. Um, okay, so he had bounced with Wookie Kiss. He only had one, and in, in, so he couldn't take that sense to hand it. So there is a sense at the bottom of his deck. Sense is, of course, another answer to something like Help Me Obi. Um, all right, so we saw an image in there. We saw presence in his reserve deck, all things that, that will help in a drain race. Um, and we're going to see Tarkin's bounty come down and grab Meanda's gun into hand. Um, I don't even know if he plays Meanda. He probably just throws a random pilot like Mahdi or whatever. I think that's what he did, did against Paul um, to shoot down the Tanev is just whatever pilot on Scythe 1. Meanda, I think, adds one to the draw, but if you're dropping down a high destiny, you don't care. Um, so Desai will drain, and we get another cancel, and Bastion opting to lose one, still not pulling the battle plan shield. And he loses broken concentration from hand. Decides he doesn't need a lock in this particular game. So Bastion's at 16 life force and decides at 31. So Bastion's, and they're at the same cards in hand. So Bastion is already down by 15. Um, um, and, and, you know, they're doing similar amounts of damage. Uh, light side can drain two there. Uh, of course, Bastion's doing the canceling, but he's only got so many ties. Um, so it's going to depend on who, who sort of locks down the board more, though. Um, Desai does double move the Falcon over, uh, meaning he's planning to move out to Bespin and start doing something. He's getting sick of his drain just being canceled over and over. And um, I don't know that he really needs to. Like I said, he's up 15 hand in life. He's doing three. Uh, of course, one is getting canceled, so he's essentially doing one. But uh, Bastion also only doing one. They're essentially both doing one, but a, and a tie is going down. But Bastion will run out of ties. We do see he has two in hand right now. Um, but I don't know how many much how many more he would have after that. Um, the side may be just getting a little impatient and wanting to force the issue. But I would be worried about something like um, Meanda's gun, or even um, laser cannon bat or anything like that. The flip side of it can stop something in battle, but it cannot stop that move, move phase uh, firing by Scythe one. What card do you pull the majority of the games? Rescue in the Clouds. <laughs> no. Uh, old Ben? I don't know. Uh, or one of the... Let's see. Grabs a gas miner with reactor terminal. And then... Looks like he opts to use the refinery at a very specific point. Um, Grabbing that sense and <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't grab rescue if you could pick from any card. You wouldn't pick a card that then lets you pick from three cards. That was 
Just a joke. Uh, all right, so Scythe 1 and Mahdi come down after um, Bastion drains and uh, drops another tie with it as well, just uh, in case someone comes down to fight it, like uh, Gold Leader and Gold 1 with a, with a pilot or something. Um, so shoots down the Falcon. Pew, pew. I imagine... Uh, is, oh, Coward is out, so he cannot just walkling the Falcon back. Um, and he did not just hit a, a, a character, right? He just made him lost? No, he did make him hit. I wonder why he didn't make him lose one. Maybe that would have gone before, that probably would have gone before the Falcon not burying it. Um, but yeah, if you're Decide here, you probably want to pop walkling to get that Falcon back now that you are at two battlegrounds. So uh, Bale's going to help. Bale will make it so Tanif can't be targeted by weapons. But of course, Desai does have a control set for stun. And we saw him do that against Paul. I believe bounce the Bale so that he could shoot down the Tanif. And uh, yep, and that's what he does right here. Um, in Desai's move phase, he's going to bounce that. Um, the Oh, Desai cancels with rescue. Um, which Bastion will try to sense with Thrawn. Uh, and he does not successfully sense. So Bale is still there. Um, but this ship can double move and fire. Um, if he can... I don't know if he's playing more than one set for stun. If he can get another one and bounce him, he could double move and fire. I'm sure that was what his plan was. Um, yeah. Yeah, character that does a, a I'm bats pull. It's typical. Um, center fleet, not worth it. Uh, no, simply I think because he's already he's doing the floating refineries and drop, and those are gonna if he gets his loop going, get him at least one or two per turn, um, every turn versus just he may only deploy three or four ties during the whole game, so he'd have to play the other system. He'd have to, which gives them a different system to go to. He'd have to play the effect, he'd, that sort of stuff. This mall is kind of cool. He can go down to the security tower and. Um, and add to those weapon shots, subtract from their from their destinies and stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, he just drained two here because he's got the gas miner, and he got to drain one here because the cloud can add one um, to a force drain at a related site. So he was just able to do three damage there. Um, he does occupy two battlegrounds, so it gets past simple tricks. Um, and then he goes ahead and plays that mall. Um, he now actually has passed uh, Desai in terms of lost pile amounts. Um, and he drops down, uses drop to put down another gas miner. So he's he's getting those down and tracking them around so that he will be able to start retrieving. Yeah, so... Um, see Jacko system. Desai is not pulling. He wants to force the issue. Interestingly, Desai there, or uh, Bastion there, cancels a drain of one, uh, indicating he thinks Desai's not going to be doing much more draining, um, that it was worth worth it to cancel a drain of one rather than saving it for a drain of two. Um, seems like Desai will... Well, Desai just runs away. Uh, I was going to say, it seems like Desai will probably fight mostly to get the flip done. And then you can toss another person with Leia and up that from a drain of one to two. Um, but Desai opts to go for the Menace Fades thing, but with the Stalker follow, that's irrelevant. You can't you can't run um, and keep Fades in effect. And now next turn, obviously Stalker can't fight that, but Executor will just move with it. If, if Desai moves again, Stalker follow shuts off Fades. So you have to sit in front of it. Um, and it looks like he's opting to sit in front of Jakku rather than Vespin. Um, 
So Bastion uses his drop again. He's going to be able to draw some. There's a lot of a lot of cards he has to track, keep track in his life force of when when he opts to use those floating refineries to draw into hand. Um, because every time after he activates a force, he has the option to use um, floating refinery. And he does it right there to draw a gas miner and retrieve one. So that was one he had dropped a couple turns ago um, at the end of the size turn. Now he's going to activate more, and I think he's probably going to do it again with the gas miner he did at the end of uh, his turn. Yep, there it is. So he's going to um, retrieve another one. And then on his turn, he'll drop back one. And on the side turn, he'll drop back another. And then he'll do it again next turn. So um, so now he's going to drain. Um, Desai is shield busted now, I think. No battle plan out still. Um, so uh, Bastion's going to drain one, two, and one. Get f He's getting in now four damage versus Desai's one damage. Um without legend being flipped this drain is pretty weak but even if it was two he'd still be doing four to two with no bb8 there no rose right now um, yeah bastion points out running to jaku rather than bespin is a better place to stand off against everyone because then bastion can't just recur the ties with uh with the free executor effect that lets him just take a tie, just forfeit it back into hand. Bastion can't just like tie, take back to hand, and keep looping that for free forfeit fodder. If they fight in front of Jaku, um, he won't be able to do that. So that is that's a definitely a good point, a uh, good reason to run over and force the issue at Jaku instead of at the Bespin system. And so he did drop down one of the gas miners, and now he's uh, splitting between a couple different... Oh, he's going to do the extra move, get out to Bespin, and then um, go inside the Executor and move over and see if he can uh, get that gun in the fight. It'll force... Obviously, he, can, he still can't uh, control phase, or I mean move phase, shoot it because of Bale. Um, but if they fight, well, he, he can't do it in a fight either. I was going to say if he fights, he'll have the one flip protection, but he's got to deal with Bale somehow. But if, if the Sai is only doing one and Bastion is retrieving two, he'll get back that control set for stun. Um, actually, I think he might've already, I wasn't paying attention, but I think there was a control set for stun in a sense and things like that. I think he might've gotten that back already, but if not, he'll get it back within a turn or two. And um, and then he can track it. He can draw it with floating refinery, and um, and then he can bounce the bale and shoot it. So he's he's essentially setting that up, um, and and that would not be possible to set up if Desai was doing more damage. Um, I think right here it would have been nice if Desai had dropped another guy with Leia. So now that he flips, he would be able to do some more damage. But um, because he is not doing more damage, Desai being able to get that back and execute that will probably just. Uh, means we'll see the Tanif go down in another turn or two. Um, right now, though, we are going to see... Uh, well, we'll see a command limit the destinies here. Um, and Bastion does have a large power differential lead. Um, oh, and Decide just concedes right here. Um, the So we didn't see Luke flip. I think Desai wanted to save it for... Uh, in case it was a battle with Bale not there. But the thing is... Once Bale is not there, Bastion is just going to shoot in move phase. So I see no reason not to flip. Because um, you don't need to save the weapon's protection. Because the weapon's going to be coming in move phase if it comes at all. Um, but even if he did flip, you get the redraw. Um, right here, uh, Bastion is up 29 to 15. So he's up by 14 power. He gets an extra destiny. Um, he very well could have some artilleries near the top. Um, I'm not, not sure, but I'm sure he knew. Um, and, uh, so he would probably be losing Piet and Desai might lose like two guys, but then he's going to drain two and one. He'll retrieve two more. And then if he can, or maybe he'll only retrieve one more because his other draw into hand is like a control tunnel or a control set for stun so that next turn he can bounce bail and shoot that down and then just win the game. 
Um, but even if not, even if he loses Piet in trades and runs away for the moment because he doesn't he doesn't have set up yet the control set for stun, he doesn't have it in hand or he doesn't have the seven that he wants for it and everything, um, he, he could just run away and set that up in a future turn. One thing is, though, he also needs to get back that sense because uh, there will likely be a second rescue to protect Bale. So um, Bastion needs to get the sense and the control and then have a seven set up or, or anything higher than a three, I guess, set up to bounce um, Bale and then have a Destiny Lesson 6 set up to sense the rescue. Um, and then he can shoot it down and win the game. So he's got he's got more work to do. This isn't an easy deck that like you're you're not gonna see an average player. You're not gonna see I wouldn't take this tomorrow um, to a tournament, even having looked at it and whatever. I don't have the seat time to know like what's all the different things. And it's it's very fiddly with the amount of tracking you have to do and knowing like here's where I've got my gas miners and some of it's easy. All right, I dropped that on the bottom and I used, you know, three fourths on his turn. So now it's the fourth from the bottom. Like, okay, there's some stuff that's pretty easy, but then there's a lot of other stuff where when you draw destinies and stuff's moving around, you can um you can know where a lot of different stuff is and then draw it into hand and that's really good. Um but normally in a normal deck, there's only a limited amount of that you have to do. Like uh, in my, um, in one of my games this weekend, um, uh, I, th yeah, I think it was actually in the finals. Um, I drew a, a sniper during a battle destiny, uh, and then you know tracked it around and drew it with seven sister the next turn or whatever, so that I had it for a future battle. And um, you know that's it's easy to track one card there and and do that um normally you're only doing that with one thing right you have one 3po and you're you're tracking one particular thing whereas here he's got of course double that with the floating refineries um two potential draws and he's tracking a lot more because he needs to do a lot more with it it's not just like oh hey there's a sniper that would be great to have in hand it's like oh i want to track my gas miners so that i can um so that I can retrieve. I want to track my artilleries so I can draw those so I can loop them for ping damage or so that I can use them to bounce somebody or shoot a ship or so there's a lot of um, fiddly mechanical work you have to do with the deck and remembering in order to um, to play it really well. Um, oh, 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 Bastion said there's only one set for stun and it's grabbed. Um, I, I did not notice it was grabbed. I saw the, I saw the sense go to lost pile. Um, and I was thinking the sense had buried the control. That's why I did not see it. I didn't see it, it grabbed. Um, I was thinking I didn't see it, but obviously the sense would actually go down first, having failed the rescue draw, and then that would go on top. So that makes sense why I didn't see it and lost. It was grabbed. So um, with only one of them, um, that does make the, the game a lot harder. Um, I'd be curious then to see... Uh, okay, okay, I, there's some comments I should read. Um, so Bastion says he does realize now though that I can loop the Imperial command to limit him to one, which will be minus one from Maul while I draw a constant seven plus a destiny, even if he limits me two and concedes. That's the cost of grabbing set for stun. You cannot grab in Imperial command. Okay, yeah. So he plays command here. He could just activate to it, draw the command again, drain for three. <laughs> um, and uh, Bastion would need to have enough forfeit fodder to... Um, forfeit fodder to keep lasting past that one destiny but he could throw he could throw a tie out there lose it he'd retrieve it he can't retrieve two per turn if he's using the um using one of the draws to loop that uh command um so he can't just he can't like retrieve a tie draw into hand a tie and the command because then he's not drawn in the the gas miners to retrieve the tie so um uh, he does have a few trade-off choices to make there, but yeah, being able to loop that command over and over, um, cap that destiny. Let's see. Uh, he doesn't have KDY, so Stalker has no immunity, because otherwise I was going to say, uh, oh, and that's only less than four when Mian does. So, um, because uh, it would be cool if everyone was immune after the minus one from all. Um, but yeah, he'll, so he'll loop command, um, you pick your poison, grab set for stun so I can't shoot Tanev, but yeah, he's going to outpower him by you know 15 every battle now um leia's ship could add like three <laughs> like um let's 
So what's a docking bay for? Here we go. Bastion says against Hitco, it's a fast drain race. After the Quieter Mercenary V, you grab, you Wookie kiss a spy, and then you'll both be low on force. I got broken concentration to then retrieve my whole lost pile, but need Maul at a battleground to flip Hitco back to prevent the take last card into hand and control. Okay, their their control phase peak. They activate all but one and then peak and take it into hand. So he puts Maul at a battleground, flips them back with the docking bay. Late game. Loop the command with reactor terminal. Don't need the refinery draw. Oh, good point. Good point. So he can refinery draw, retrieve, and reactor terminal draw. Um, and in fact, it, yeah, cool. Uh, he says he practiced it with Drew Coffee Pass for the last couple weeks. He's definitely a good dude. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, uh, it's super creative deck. Uh, very much enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad you, you, uh, were willing to play a game with it here to show us, um, the match but yeah it's i mean we're looking at an end board game state of bastion having 18 uh in life force four in hand so 22 and desai having 20 and six in hand so 26 so desai up by four but bastion's doing three damage to one bastion's retrieving to a turn so he's retrieving more than desai is doing and he's able to at the very least, stalemate or better at the system by capping a destiny and making it minus one while just massively outpowering. Um, he does have to come up with forfeit fodder for the ship, but he does have some ties, and um, that that probably should not be a problem. Um, even if he loses a Piet, if he retrieves it and then draws that back into hand, and he can he can if he can just kind of loop a, a Genin and Piet that he's he draws command with reactor terminal. Draws one gas miner just to retrieve one, whoever he just forfeited, um, and then draws the other one into hand. He might only be choosing to retrieve one per turn instead of two so that he can use the, the second refinery draw on a forfeit fodder or whatever. But but Desai being outpowered by that much means he's going to be losing two characters per battle, and we'll just quickly run out. Um, Desai can at some point flip and turn this into a drain of two, but we saw Bastion still had a uh, image of a Dark Lord floating around in there that could reduce it back down to one if if he needs, um, or reduce it to zero if Desai doesn't flip. So um, Bastion is in a... They got similar on life force counts at the end, and of course Bastion gets the next control phase, so he'll do three more and retrieve at least one or two more, and he'll already be ahead in life force here we are on turn eight so it is a very slow setup game paul myers would have timed out three turns ago um but against legend that gives you time to just do whatever you want we saw bastion's first few turns were just like draw some play effemon draw some play some clouds play some refineries but not really doing anything for quite a while um but you know Desai's turn was like sight draw next turn like luke draw maybe leia also came down that turn draw like falcon came down you know but it but then bastion was able to just be like cancel drain cancel drain cancel drain three turns in a row um for the falcon and um there wasn't a lot of pressure from him so he could get his whole uh gimmick set up so uh uh bastion says he probably played 20 to 25 games with this to learn it in and out um, over the last few weeks with constant changes up until the second to last game. So he kept kept refining it. Um, testing was mainly against Hitco. Five games was enough to sit to see I win it easy. Played about three games versus Step and one against Diplo, but mostly Hitco. Five games against Legend. So that's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, practice games, but really made a, a cool deck here. Um, Against Hitco, you start Power of the Hut for first turn Effetmon and ditch the whole capital stuff. You only need Barrier, tie Cannon for Hunchui Falcon if it comes down. Um, what if they're playing their shot? Um, yeah, I, I guess. So you start Power of the Hut and you throw Effetmon down. You have to hope you find maul and sense or you know hit a sense with effin or something for their quite a mercenary um or find the um 
Kisawaki like very quickly. Like you're you play Ephemon, but then you're just trying to draw and dig for because if they get a spy and quite a mercenary early, and you don't have the Kisawaki or you don't have a successful sense, um, obviously then your drains become like one one one, and racing hit co is not possible. So you it does seem like you need to get um, uh, a little bit of luck there. Or, or not get unlucky, I guess, having them have that stuff really early. Um, two Wookiee Kisses is the main weapon against us, yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I think that concludes this game. Thanks for, uh, thanks for playing that, Bastion, and sharing with us and explaining the deck being here in chat, Charlie and, uh, and Paul. Thanks for being in chat, hanging out with me while we checked out this deck. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and uh, later tonight I will be uh, streaming a bunch of my games from Worlds, going through my deck choices, card choices, things like that, talk about some decks I almost played and didn't play, um, and uh, that will be at 7 Eastern tonight, the 15th of December, and uh, if you're not available tonight, it'll be on YouTube after, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.